Welcome to Lake Arrowhead Yacht and Country Club. I'm Kevin Ains, PGA professional and the inventor of the Pro Low Putting System. Today we're going to do six demonstrations of the practices that we have with the Pro Low. And then we're going to do also a bonus seventh practice that through practicing we've come up with a, another idea. So Pro Low Putting System designed to do two things. Keep the putter low to the ground for solid impact and then the numbering system on the bar will teach you how to take the putter back certain distance for certain length strokes. So we're going to get started with the first practice which is working on the pro low stroke. You don't need the numbers on the bar this time so we're going to turn the bar upside down so it's solid white. We're going to put the system about three foot from the hole. All right so now we're, now we're just going to work on the pro low putting stroke. The stroke is keeping the putter low to the ground making solid contact to the ball. Most amateurs have a tendency to take the putter too far back, too high up, and then decelerate at the ball. This system is going to help you learn to keep the putter low to the ground, keeping the loft on the putter, and get the ball rolling true to the hole. So after some practice with the Prolo, we move it off to the side and then we work on the stroke without it. Just working on keeping the putter parallel to the ground, making solid impact. That's the first of the six practices with the Prolo putting system. The next practice we turn the bar over to expose the numbers zero to eight on each side. The ball goes under the zero. Now we're going to work on the length of our putting stroke. We're starting off at three feet. So for a three foot putt, we're going to take the putter back to the number two, follow through to number four. Ball under the zero, putter to number two, putter to number four. So you're going to start developing a feel for short putts is a short stroke. To help if you have a tendency to not be able to stop the putter at the correct number, we add our third sliding support and we put the support to where our putter face We'll go to the number two, but no further back than that. So we're going to stop at number two and go to number four. So you're developing a shorter, firm stroke to get the ball rolling true to the hole. So each distance, the numbers on the bar. We'll show you how far to take it back for certain length putts that's in our teaching manual. So those are two of the six practices. The third practice, we go more in front of the supports. This is going to do give you a little bit more freedom on the follow through. So after developing our stroke, now I have a little bit more freedom to follow through. We set the Prolo up using the alignment bar as our aim. Again, only be able to take it back a couple inches and follow through. So this gives you a little bit more freedom on the follow through than under the bar. Again, we're practicing from three feet. And then as we go through each practice, we'll lengthen our practice. So then to go to the next practice, 
remove the smaller sliding support. Now we're going to put the Pro Low about 24 inches from the hole. The balls go behind it, working on keeping the putter square through impact. Input through both four inch sliding supports. This is working on keeping the putter square through impact. Let's see. I'm filling that hole up, aren't I? So another practice that we have in the manual is we want you to move the Prolo off to the side and again, using it as a visual to keep the putter square through impact. And then our most challenging of the practices is when we change from the four inch opening, insert the two inch opening, and now we're really going to work on keeping that putter square through impact. Putting again the ball at zero and putting through the two inch opening. This one's much more challenging. The ball being about 1.68 inches, the opening being right at two inches. The ball has just enough room to clear both sides. And one more. little chip on that one. So those are six of the practices that's in the manual. One that we've just come up with through some practicing in the golf shop. So we put the, the ball on the outside. This will help keep the putter against the alignment bar. And that will also help you keep the putter square through impact. So it's a teaching aid, it's a teaching tool. We've given you the six, seven practices, but the key is getting out and using it. It'll definitely improve your putting.